Okay, so we're going to have a travel list video for you today. And this time, we're going to be looking at Rimuru265's account. If you want your account to be reviewed in the future, then just leave your account name down below. And I will get to it eventually because the list is absolutely massive. You'll have to bear with me. Just like previous videos, I'm still not 100%. My throat is still giving me a lot of uh, jip. And yeah, I'm just going to have to work with it. Um, so... With the account, I can see that there's only 49 Platinum, so this one should be relatively short, but still, let's get to it. So, first one on the list, Astro's Playroom. Everybody should have this, just because it's absolutely fantastic. The additional DLC that they've had it added more recently is now obtainable as well, so that's one that I'll have to go back and get at some point. Uh, the DLC, not the Platinum. The second game on the list, Batman The Enemy Within. Now, I'm a little bit confused here because I thought The Enemy Within was the Telltale game, but then it says Batman the Telltale series, so I'm not 100% sure, but, excuse me, fair play on both of those. Yeah, my voice is just completely gone. Uh, I've hardly spoke today either, so it's, it's not because I'm talking too much, it's just... I think a trip to the quacks might be on uh, on the cards. Next up is Bioshock. Absolutely fantastic game. Like I, I can't I can't speak highly enough of the Bioshock franchise. Like I even love Infinite, which you haven't got, uh, but you've got Bioshock One, Bioshock Two. Eleven point eight eight percent on one, eighteen point four six percent on two. So a bit higher than what I was expecting it to have been, but. Brilliant Platinums regardless. Two that I want to go back and get at some point. Um, I believe with Bioshock 1, I would need to do two whole playthroughs. Or at least at least one playthrough, but like be very, very careful. Because if I remember right, one of the trophies, you have to um, not visit a, a vital chamber. So basically you don't, can't die. But I would need to get all of the collectibles as well, which means putting myself in additional danger. I'll probably do it at some point, but we'll see. Uh, then we've got Crisis 1 and Crisis 2. Very nice. Crisis 1 with an 18.46%. Crisis 2 with a 28%. Uh, I know I know Crisis 1, like I know both of the games, but I know Crisis 1 is considered a, a relatively easy platinum. Um, look, looking just at the percentage, I'm guessing number two is even easier. Um, but I've I've not looked into the trophy list myself. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot next, nice, very high percentage considering that it's like it's a simple platinum, but you know it, it takes a bit of work. It's not quite you know it's not on like my name is Mayo level. Um, you know you actually have to think and act and do stuff in the game. But um, still, you know, fair play. I'm quite, but like I said, I'm quite shocked that it's so high. Uh, next, we got Far Cry Three, the classic edition. Very nice. Um, probably the best Far Cry out of all of them. Although I think the original on PS3 was the better edition. I, I felt like the classic edition just very, very janky on the PS4. Uh, God of War next, and then God of War Ragnarok. Very nice. Um, twenty seven point zero eight on that, and thirty nine. I'm quite shocked that the second one is so high, especially considering the first one so low. My only, the only thing I can think of that is because of the original, not the original, but uh, this God of War uh, must have been the Valkyries just messed messed up a lot of people. Uh, then we've got both Gravity Rushes, very nice. Don't see it too often. Starting to see. The first one, at least, starting to see it more often these days. But like, I, I played this a long time ago. I never got the platinum on it, um, and I don't think I will ever go for it because I just know that it would give me like full-on motion sickness. I watched I watched somebody do a video on it uh, quite recently, and I was I was watching the video, and and I just I literally felt sick. Uh, not because it's a bad game, just because of how how insane it can get. Uh, and then you got both of the Horizons, very nice. Uh, Zero Dawn, 27.67% on that one. Forbidden West, 37.78. So 
So again, the, the sequel has got a much higher percentage. Um, I've, I've got the uh, Zero Dawn Platinum. I started Forbidden West and just I couldn't get into it. It just it was just too too samey for me. Um, and then we got Infamous First Light and Second Son. Nice and nice. Two that I own myself. 22.63 on that one and 26.21 on that one. Sorry about that. Um, then we got Lego Batman 3. Very nice. Uh, I'm not really clued up with... Like, I know Lego games, but I'm not really clued up on to, like, which ones uh, require what things. Um, but very nice that you've got uh, Batman 3 and DC Supervillains. And then the two... Oh, there's loads more. Uh, the two Harry Potters, years 1 to 4 and 5 to 7. Marvel Superheroes 2. Uh, Marvel's Avengers and The Incredibles. Um, fair play. Very nice. Uh, the one thing I will say is 10.93% on DC Supervillains and the DLC as well. Actually, I've done the DLC on a few of them, to be fair. So, very, very nice. I am impressed. Then we've got All of the Life is Strange. I think this is all of them. I don't really know. As I keep saying, I was always told one thing about the life is strange i've actually considered getting them myself now um who knows May maybe it'll be one of the platinum trophies i'll go for myself in the near future um marvel's guardians of the galaxy chef's kiss one of the best games i've ever played maybe maybe that's stretching it a little bit but i thought it was a fantastic game nonetheless then you got all three of the Spider-Mans, very, very nice. Then you got, Ma well, let, let's keep it real here. You've got the three Mass Effects that actually matter, one, two, and three. Um, again, surprised that these are quite high percentage-wise, um, but still fantastic, all three of them. Um, would be interested to know if I'm going to go for Andromeda at any point in the future. Uh, then we got Murdered Soul Suspect. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's a short platinum, but it still requires, you know, thinking outside the box a little bit. Um, so nice one on that. Uh, Road 96. Not a clue. I, I've i seen this game numerous times been mentioned on, on certain videos. I think I actually picked up a copy of this in store the other day. And I think if, I'm, if, it, if it's the correct game, like the physical edition or at least the one i picked up i don't know whether it was like a collector's edition or, or what but if i remember right it was like 30 pound and i was like i'm not paying that for a, a like you know five hour platinum it's not five hours according to the guide it's eight but you, you get my thinking uh, then we got scars above very nice i don't i think this might be the first time i've seen this game um it's a game that i need to get around to get uh, to playing and platinum in um but what's put me off is that if you look at the guide it mentions a couple of times about like bugs and like you know basically platinum ending runs um so i'm a bit reluctant to actually jump into it but who knows in the future uh, then we got south park the fractured butthole nice uh, one of the two south park games i've got um again i'm very surprised at how high some of these platinums are uh spongebob spongebob what the hell spongebob squarepants battle for bikini bottom nice 24.43 percent on that one three out of ten ten hours all three of the spyros very very nice i just the only one i'm missing myself is uh number three i did the first one as my first ever video on the channel I did the second one. I never made a video on it, but I, I, I platinumed Spyro 2 uh, roughly a year later. So Spyro 3 has got about another 10 months to wait, and then I might do it. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order next. Very nice. Again, such a high percentage. And I know that, again, I know that this one isn't a walk in the park. Um, next up, we got Tales of the Borderlands. From what I've heard, one of the worst Tales games. 
Uh, and then speaking of Tales games, we've then got The Walking Dead. Uh, so very nice. Then we've got, I think this is your lowest platinum percentage on the uh, on the account. But then we've got Titanfall 2. Very nice. One that I would love to go for. I just, I, I think I've said it on a number of videos. It's just the gauntlet. I, I don't know why. I just can't, can't do it. Um, obviously with a bit of practice, I probably could. But I, I just haven't got the time to practice. Uh, then we've got What Remains of Edith Finch. I've actually been recommended this game um, and like about 12 times over my last couple of um, like trophy list videos. And I, I, like people have been having like a, a minor discussion saying that there's no platinum. Well, I can see on your list that there clearly is. I'm guessing it's PS5 edition has the platinum, PS4 edition doesn't. But fair play on that. Um, I have heard it's a bit of a walking simulator though, and don't know if it's this game or another one, but there's like you have to stand around for like 30 minutes to an hour for a trophy. So if that is the case, like that would probably put me off a little bit. And then we got Wolfenstein the New Order again, considering it's a 6 out of 10 to have 17.39%, it's just madness. But it's the world we're living in now, people are platinum in much harder games a lot more frequently so okay so <laughs> we knew it was going to be a shorter video um but as always we'll go up and look at your milestones uh, so your first platinum was the walking dead telltale series and that was three years ago now is is this like when you started uh you know platinum hunting did you create this account purely for platinums or is this just how long you've had the account for like this was uh three years ago was the first time that you ever had a playstation something along those lines um your 10th platinum was far cry 3 so very nice 20th platinum was lego batman 3 uh 30th platinum was life is strange before the storm 40th platinum scars above and your latest, uh, while we're here, fastest platinum, what remains of Edith Finch. And your latest platinum was Road 96. And I do know, because we said it at the start, your next platinum is going to be number 50. Are you currently doing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order? Or whatever it's called. No, that's the game that you've already done. Lego, Star Wars, Skywalker, whatever it is. Are you doing this game for your 50th or have you got a specific platinum in mind for number 50 or is, is this it? Um, and yeah, like sorry that the video is not, not too long. I know that some people prefer the shorter ones, um, but 49 trof uh, platinum trophies, you yeah? know, as I always say, it's not about the number, it's about what trophies you've currently got and, you know, I would argue that no tro no platinum trophy on that list is trash. So, yeah, fair play. Um, so, yeah, don't forget, if you want to have your list reviewed in the future, uh, leave your account name down below. Hopefully, by the time that my next video comes out, uh, the voice will be back to normal. If not, then I'm going to be seriously uh, concerned. Um, but just want to also say thank you for all the support on the channel recently um i've recently surpassed um seven seven fifty subs and to be honest when i first started i I'd never expected to get anywhere near this this point um i'm obviously going to keep pushing because i want to i want to take this as far as it'll go um but you know it's all thanks to you guys which is why i keep saying that i will do every single list because without you guys watching commenting subscribing I, I wouldn't be at this point now so i am going to do every single one on the list just please 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 be patient because the list is massive and i'm trying not to overcrowd my youtube channel with literally just uh, trophy lists i'm trying to keep my original content going at the same time um, and as much as i want to pump out video after video after video i just can't you know, it, it, it's difficult to have, having my full-time job, being a parent, being a being a boyfriend, you know, all the things that we do in life. I only get a couple of days where I have, like, big chunks of time to myself. 
um you know a lot a lot of us have to deal with this just one of those things you know sorry to get the smallest violin for myself but yeah so thank you everyone for watching commenting liking all the above thank you for watching peace out